Hey there and um, welcome to another video. I'm going to show you today some uh, DZ miniatures. Uh, these are cavemen. This first one uh, is gone now. Neanderthal board. And here's another one. Very nice figures. Not finished as you can see. Metal figures. Very uh, sturdy metal figures. Um, plenty of, uh, of uh, beef on those boys. Um, they need um, matte varnishing and uh, they need the bases uh, finishing up as well in some way but these were wonderful to paint you can see so many organic shapes you, you can do these exactly as you want you could paint these with the leopard skins tiger skins um, make them as colorful as you'd like them to be now here's the other uh, part of these uh, DZ miniatures is some uh, Cro-Magnon men. Here's the first of them. He still needs basing and varnishing as well. But I really like the way these turned out. You can see the um, a totally different um, skins color scheme. Much lighter. Um, and the lighter skin and hair. Here's another one of these. Again great for just being creative and painting what you want. Uh, I don't think these are really available, these DZ miniatures, much anymore. Um, but they're they're wonderful to paint, and if you ever come across them, you just want to paint something uh, interesting, I'd, I'd definitely recommend these. You might also uh, notice I've inter invested in a, um, a tripod for the camera, which brings its own challenges when I try and spin these around with one hand. Um, but there's the third of these Cro-Magnon men. Anyway, I really like all of these figures. They uh, are uh, very interesting to paint. Lots of opportunities for creativity. You can do basically what you want with them. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you um, as part of the joy of this hobby and uh, and why we do it, or why I do it anyway. So um, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.